Hey guys, Stacy here with Stacy D Pilates. I'm here at the Metropolitan Racquet Club downtown Houston, and I wanted to do another foam rolling routine or just, I guess, little guided tour because <laughs> so many people are confused by the foam roller or intimidated by it. Um, <clears throat> I will say, always consult a doctor before trying a foam rolling routine if you have chronic pain or any injuries. Um, but this one's going to be more for the back of the body, back line, um, some hamstrings, hips. Um, so just some areas of mean kind of tightness, tension, uh, a lot of areas with hidden trigger points. So let's just get to it because I know my body needs it this morning. So what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to just, I have a tennis ball also today to show you some stuff there if the foam roller is too difficult. But what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to line the foam roller into my low back. And I want to make sure that I can use my legs as some support to roll. So I'm going to find, you know, hammock my head in my hands and I'm going to walk my legs forward and wide. And I'm just going to start by rolling up and down the spine. So sometimes if a client has knee issues or really tight hamstrings, this is hard for them to do. So another way you could do it is to try to, you know, kind of just like rock the body a little bit here and just go through sections like lumbar, you know, just little movements. Sometimes just even holding pressure on to these areas helps to open them. But if you can, you want to just walk your legs really wide and use your hamstring glute connection to come up and down the body. And I love this because I'll usually get some self adjustments here. So I'm just going to hammock my head. If you don't want to hold your head, you don't have to, but usually most people do. So I'm just kind of warming up the spine, you know, adjusting my foam roller if I need to. Now, what I'm going to focus on next is releasing our QLs. So this nice big muscle in the back that tends to hold a lot of tension and um, trigger points and used for like a lot of global activity, sometimes as a stabilizer as well. So what I want to do to get into that, I'm going to bring the foam roller low. I'm going to bring my body weight up onto the foam roller, maybe use a little support for my upper body. And I'm just going to turn onto one side and go up and down, probably just to the hip crest, so to the pelvic crest and to the bottom of the rib cage. And you will feel it. It almost feels like you're rolling out a kidney. Um, it's a really tough, strong muscle and does, like I said, hold a lot of trigger points. So you want to just try to go into it. Again, just holding static pressure onto it can be a lot. You can rock kind of center back on, you know, go towards the hip crest more. Just again, you're diagnosing your own tightness. This isn't, you know, everybody's different. Everybody's in a different holding pattern. So make sure you're just kind of feeling for yourself. If you need to take a break, Calm off, take a break, because like I said, it can be painful. So I'm just doing this and trying to see where I'm tight. This one feels okay. I'm then gonna go to the other side, so I'm gonna readjust the foam roller, kind of roll over to the left a little bit. <clears throat> Keep my legs wide so I have support from my um, glutes to move. And then I'm gonna probably just have a hold a static pressure. I know this side's my worst side. If you see my videos, you know my left is my little grip holder over there. Um, so I'm just diagnosing, I'm just looking for points of tenderness. Um, if you feel a point of tenderness and then you feel it radiate to other areas, that could show you that it's a trigger point or that, you know, that tightness is coming from a corresponding trigger point. So if you have questions about trigger points, there's great videos out there with some explanation on that. So I'm just gonna go up and down and then I'm gonna Give myself a break, maybe sit up, stretch my hamstrings for a second, get off of my back. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come sit on the foam roller with my butt booty right on top. And I want to like make sure I'm right on, you know, the pretty much glute max. I'm gonna figure for my right leg. This is for my hips I'm doing now. I'm gonna tilt on to the side of this hip and I'm gonna look for uh, my piriformis rolling. And usually you have to really tip over and scoot it back. Like it's on more of the top of the glute. And when you hit it, 
you will know. It will be pretty intense pain. There's mine right there. It's going down my IT band. Um, it's definitely a point that gets super tight, deep, deep muscle, piriformis. And as I'm on that pressure and on that, you know, where I know I'm on it, because you can feel it, I'm just gonna rock kind of heavier onto the, you know, front and then back to center. So I'm just tilting on to that muscle, maybe feeling a little more rolling back and forth. And then I'm gonna just do a more global roll of the glutes just to kind of work it out. And then I'm gonna straighten myself out and go to the other side. So I'm figure four in the leg that I'm trying to work into that hip. So now I'm on the left side, left leg is figure four or crossed over. And again, you're using your upper body for some support. I'm just gonna tilt over, find it, there it is. Kind of just make friends with it as best as possible. Let it know that I'm here to help, even though it doesn't want my help. Um, those of you who have that foam rolled already know what that feels like. And again, then I'm gonna try to move it, you know, back through the hip, trying not to just stay on it too long, making sure that I'm giving it a pressure point then coming off of it because it doesn't want to have to be pushed that long. That's a great way to get into the hips. One other point that I find that people have a problem with is this kind of right underneath the rib cage area. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come onto the foam roller as best I can. Now, if you have severe low back pain, I would not suggest doing this one at all. It's too hard to get an extension just skip this one altogether. But what I like to do is bring my legs up, drop the knees or shins, I should say. And I'm just like pushing, like pulling my stomach in to like drop or bring my legs back. I usually do like to tilt to one side. So I'll go to my right and it's massaging just further up that QL muscle up underneath towards the rib cage. Always be careful because you don't want to be directly on bone necessarily but go to what you think feels safe for you. And I'm just really trying to massage by using, using my stomach to curl my pelvis back posteriorly and just using my body weight. Then I'm gonna come to the other side and do this. Again, you can skip this all together if you just wanna focus on your hips and your back. You know, hamstring rolling is pretty self-explanatory of just rolling the hamstrings out. And I'm just gonna do this until I feel like I've gotten a decent amount in there, maybe five to 10 times. And then I just like to, you know, really let the low back relax into the foam roller, kind of let it hammock my back, let my sacrum kind of just spread. Knees are again, just bent and relax shins. And then I'm gonna just slowly imagine I'm pulling any tension out of my low back wheeling the foam roller forward to lower my pelvis and lumbar back down to the mat. I really love to imagine from my mind's eye that I'm taking out the tension. So after I've done that, I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna come up. I'm just gonna assess my spine. What do I feel like? Do I feel like I'm more open right now? Do I feel like I can kind of twist and rotate a little bit more. Just kind of check that. You can always do more stretching on the mat. And then my next video will be showing you how to get into some areas with a tennis ball if the foam roller is too challenging to hold yourself on. So I hope this helps. Again, if I've asked you to do this um, or have made any modifications to asking you to do this, please try to do it in between your sessions so I can help you with your um, progress and or help you progress i should say quicker by keeping yourself open the next time i see you and for all of you that don't see me privately or work out with me i hope this just helps to get you you know free at home so please like the page if you enjoy this and thanks so much for being here guys have a great day